Hello there, folks. I'm Andy Lorian. Welcome to Six Castles Wish, and we're coming to you from that there London. We are actually, well, actually, we're in a, a, an area called Woolwich. We're here for Star Wars Celebration. Uh, it's the world's largest convention for Star Wars fans. Everything that Star Wars will be at this event this year. It is in the lovely city of London, which makes it easy for us to get to. It's at different places all over the globe at various times. But this year it's in London. Uh, so it's called Star Wars Celebration Europe. It's going to be people from all over the planet turning up, people of all races, whether they're Mandalorians or well, you name it, anyone will be there. I'm sure we'll see a Wookiee or two in the occasional Stormtrooper as well. But anyway, as I said, we're stopping in Woolwich, so here's a quick view of our room. We're stopping at a Premier Inn. Uh, going to be here for a few nights. It's not too bad. It's standard Premier Inn, but we'll give you a quick room tour. You know what to expect. So we'll start obviously at the door, fairly decent area. It's one of those you've got to put your key in the socket to activate the lights. So even if you're on your own, if you like the lights on when you're coming, make sure you get two keys. Place for coat hangers, nice little mirror, hello me, a hairdryer and a little place to drop your keys and a couple of sockets, a light switch. This is the Amenities, a nice toilet, decent shower, single basin and a bin, and they've got the, the hand soap on the, the walls there. And that same in the shower area. Now in the main room we've got a uh, bit of art, got a couple of lights, nice bed head there, decent double sized bed. And we've actually got a twin room, so we've got a spare single bed as well. Uh, I would show you the room, uh, sorry, the window, but it's a window that one doesn't open and just looks at the high street, so there's not much there. Uh, is a giant cushion, if you want that, instead of the standard pillow. Usual tea, coffee making facilities. Several plugs around the room, but they're just uh, English European. Um, style plugs no usb outlets seems to be a hdmi socket there for if you remember them kids uh there's the bin and yeah nice little tv and reading lamp and a mirror so it's just all the basics but a nice room decent price um nothing too fancy but i've stayed in a lot worse so i'm sure we're gonna get a comfy night's sleep here well, we've made our way over to the Excel in London. It's the convention centre here that the event's happening, as you can see from the nice old banner. Lots of activity going on. It doesn't actually start today, but there's a lot of people registering the badges, getting their accessibility sorted, just getting the lay of the land and finding out what's happening, uh, who's in what panels and where everything's laid out, how to get here. There are links to the DLR and the, the main line, uh, and also there's buses and Ubers and whatever ways you, you can get here but anyway so we're going to head in see what we can get registered see if we can get sorted i've already got my lanyard on and uh, we'll see what's happening well as you can imagine this is a massive event it's probably going to be about hundred thousand people here throughout the weekend on each day uh, so yeah it's a huge venue uh, for english standards obviously for america these are on every street corner uh, but yeah, this is going to be a massive event. I'll flip the camera around and where I'm headed. There you go, I'm heading all the way down there. Definitely need to sit down when we get there, but there's several main halls. The security, we've just walked through, that's why I couldn't uh, video it. But it's much the same as when you go into a Disney park, just walk through uh, a couple of scanners, through in seconds, not a problem at all. Uh, so anyone coming over the weekend should get in nice and easy. As you can see from the banners, there's uh, a lot of advertising. There's a big video sign outside uh, advertising uh, Jedi Survivor, or something like that. It's the latest game in the series. Uh, I've recently finished Fallen Order. Excellent game. If you haven't played that before, definitely give that a try. But we're going to walk in and see what's happening. So, apologies for the flickering, but yeah, so this is the video it's showing it's Jedi Survivor it's the latest game that's coming out 
April 28th and as you saw from there Cal Kestis has now got a beard and as we all know beards are cool so this is the main queuing hall for people coming in look at all that space for queuing it's going to be full of people first thing in the morning uh, but basically they all filter down to this area here and they get into the show but here you can actually pick up your badges we actually got ours posted to us and we registered them online so it's not been a problem from us so we're just going straight to the accessibility area and get registered so it's now the next day we uh, didn't have too much to do yesterday so we just had a bite to eat and then went back to our hotel and had a rest so it's the next morning and we've got people queuing up now to get into the show uh, but signage isn't brilliant I will say that uh, no idea where the accessibility areas are but we'll find it anyway just to give you an idea of how big this main hall is you can see people queuing up for the stage behind me there there's a good few thousand there and this is the queue for people that are waiting to go into the show now the doors did open at around 10 o'clock it's now just before 11 a.m. and there's still all the still all them waiting to go in as you can see this is a massive hall as people flowing through so it doesn't look like the wait is too long to actually get in however there are still people waiting to get tickets uh, get them registered but hopefully it shouldn't be too long and we can get onto the show floor so we're uh, in the convention now as expected it didn't take too long obviously because uh, I've got a disability pass it did help me greatly to get in with minimal waiting uh, the staff that helped me really appreciated uh, but as you can see there is a steady stream of people just wandering through there's no real direction other than on the app as to where to go what queue is for what where it's going not very good for people with anxiety I will say that but with a little perseverance everyone is very friendly and there are people mainly attendees that will help you and uh, support you uh, the staff at the moment aren't very visible but I'm sure once the initial surge of people dies down then they'll be a bit, a bit more visible but at the moment it's um, it's a bit like the walking dead you've got to look see which way the swarm is heading as to figure out where to go so we assume we're going towards the the main show floor but we shall see so we've finally made it onto well what is the first part of the show floor and yeah as you can see, you'll soon see there's a, a fair amount to actually look at so let me flip the camera first here we go obviously this is very imperial led there's a stormtroopers looks like a tank trooper there there's a hot gun over there there's an atat or sorry atst rather there's lots to be seen and that's the star wars celebration live stage you can just see in the distance so there'll be people coming out for live streamed interviews it's going to be a very very busy one we'll try and capture as much as we can i've seen loads of people in costume and cosplay already but uh, as you can see with it being so busy it's not ideal to just stop and take pictures with people but we'll get round to it it's absolutely amazing how much is here there are multiple areas with hundreds of stalls all over the place funko droid racing there's another atst behind me thousands of people all coming to celebrate everything that is star wars and oh my god there's a couple of layers hey layers nice to see you <laughs> We're now in the artists area. Lots of fantastic artists. Tiny Image, Joe Hogan, Jody Ray, Shickling. Got Jason Davies over there, and we've got Sam Gilby here. Trisha Benson there. Some amazing artists, all selling the work, prints of them. Some of them have even been signed as well absolutely amazing pieces of art so we've now come into the celebration store lots of
lots of stuff for purchase. Ewok Village Terrarium. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Celebration Jigsaw. It's a cool denim jacket celebrating the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Have a look at the back. Last, the waiting is over. That's the, that's the denim jacket you're looking for. Can't see a price on it though. But lots of nice hand embroidered work on there and patches. As with Disney, if there's no price on it, it must be free. Celebration scarves. Mugs there, celebrating the 30th anniversary. See if there's a price on any of these. No prices that I can see yet. Nope. But it's quite a big store. I'm sure there's a a few items that we'll probably want in here. These are looking pretty cool. Nice colourful official tops. Nice print on the front. One thing we noticed it's uh, it's one of those very plastic plasticky type field prints so after a couple of washes I bet you all this starts cracking. But it's still a very colourful design and 55 quid is one of the official shirts. Do like this design. We've got a few in stock. And if these shelves are ever empty, they will screen print them over there. Here we have some more scarves and the other official shirt. But there are a wide variety of shirts that are available. You can see on the top there, all these different prints and designs. I won't go through all of them because I'll be here all day. And there's a lot of people that are queuing up to get into this store because you queue could be up to three hours long. We got in because we managed to get a fast pass or it's got a light speed lane for celebration. But everyone comes through there, there's a big crowd of people waiting to get in. And obviously, to avoid any overcrowding, it's one in, one out basically. But yeah, it's, um, it's busy and it'll be like this for the entirety of the event. So if there's anyone actually here, you'll understand what it's like trying to get into this store. As I said, I don't understand why they can't have multiple stands selling the same merch all over the place. They'll probably have a bigger turnover of stock that way, but not my circus, not my flying monkeys. For those of you that are pin collectors, these are the designs for all the pins that are on sale this weekend, all different sets. I was contemplating getting some pins myself, but they're a bit too cartoony for me. But they have proved to be extremely popular. Some of these are on the pre-sale and they all sold out. We also got some plushies as well. Max Rebo plush set. There's Max. And they're £45. So as I said, they have a screen printing unit here. So any of these t-shirts that you want, if they're out of stock, they'll just print some more. Oh, I like the, the tie-dye one at the back. 
beautiful, yeah. Plenty of t-shirts being made, there's loads in stock. And uh, not bad price, they're 30 pounds each for the t-shirts, whatever size you get. So for Disney and Star Wars, that's a really good price. Got some more 40th anniversary jackets. This is obviously like in the style of Endor Fatigues. These are £110. This is like a over the top anorak type coat. And you've also got this little bomber jacket here. Obviously down to Jabba's Palace theming. There's Jabba himself there. The Emperor. Not bad, especially if you like the colour green. There's a very nice button down. Another 40th anniversary, nice little label there. Nice imperial lighting theme. Also, nice hand embroidered, well, probably machine embroidered. That's 80 pounds. If you want to, you can get a tattoo here. All these people are Lucasfilm licensed tattoo artists. Obviously you need to book your slot. I did inquire about a tattoo. And for a three hour piece, you're looking at about 300 pounds. Well worth it, because these tattoo artists are amazing. So if you like a tattoo, this is the place to get it done. Will be Star Wars if you didn't have droids here. And here we have Chopper coming to say hello. Hello Chopper. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Well there's a Chopper, that's to be an astromech as well, so here's R2. Awesome, thank you very much. Fantastic, thank you very much. I don't know about you, but I'm dying to shout on program. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, we've just come out of uh, a panel. It was for the TV series Andor. Absolutely amazing, but of course, as you imagine, can't do any filming, can't get your, get your phone out for that. But it will be online so by the time this this vlog drops it will be on uh, it'll be on YouTube so just look at just type in Star Wars celebration Europe 2023 you'll find it all the panels all the live shows all the interviews will all be on there obviously during the panels they're gonna show us sneak previews but it's only for the people that are actually in the panel that not the people that are outside the room so that's why there's all the secrecy but we're now on the shop floor, uh, having a look at some of the stalls, uh, just seeing a nice little Endor display. It's uh, still very, very packed, but it's only the first day, so we'll probably take some more footage uh, once it's all thinned out, maybe tomorrow or the day after, so hopefully we'll get to see a bit more stuff. Uh, so, not much more to do today. We're gonna have a little look about, maybe take a few pictures if we can of uh, people in cosplay. 
and uh, yeah, we'll probably just have a meal and head off home for now. We've done a fair bit today, had a good look about, got a lay of the land. So uh, we'll see where the event takes us. On day two now. Uh, it got a bit busy yesterday, so we we just cut our losses and had a bite to eat, then went back to the hotel. But anyway, it's day two. We're back in the XL, and we're actually in the queue for Ahsoka, the Ahsoka panel. And there's already thousands of people here, as you could probably hear from the background noise. There's several people in front of us in the queue, but should hopefully get a decent view uh, by the time this uh, vlog hits uh, the Ahsoka trailer will already have heard we're gonna meet um, some of the stars and the creators of the show so it should be good should be informative but as with all the panels here you can't um, vlog them video them they're even a bit twitchy about people taking pictures but that is officially allowed so hopefully we'll see you a little later after the Easy panel if we can video anything which i doubt we will but we'll have a little catch up later okay so we're now in the food hall i've had to change camera so you're currently looking at me on the dgi uh hopefully this microphone is picking you up if not i'll have to put a voice on over over the top of it when i edit this together so yeah we're currently in the food hall <laughs> This is one of the two big food halls, which is absolutely ram-packed with people. Uh, there's lots of food available. There's waffles, there's Chinese, there's burgers, there's fried chicken. There's all sorts of food available, but there's tens of thousands of people all trying to get that food. So everything is battered. Everything has a massive queue. Uh, everything's overpriced, but that's what you expect when you come to a, an event of such magnitude as this. Uh, we just had some of the uh, authentic Chinese rice bowl company. Horrendously overpriced, but very nice. Filled us up. Uh, not bad for a quick lunchtime snack before we go into our next panel. So, talking of panels, we've actually just come out of the Ahsoka one. So, if you're wanting to avoid spoilers, and don't worry, by the time this video drops, there'll be videos out there with all the teaser trailers that they've shown during this weekend so if you want to avoid any spoilers uh, I'll probably put a timestamp at the bottom but yeah just scoot your head I'll give you a few moments to do that and now I'll talk about the panel so obviously John Favreau Dave Filoni came out they gave us uh, a good description of what it meant to them for developing this series, bringing the character through from animation. So if you're not aware, Ahsoka Tano uh, was the Padawan of Anakin Skywalker, as we first saw in the animated series, The Clone Wars. Then later on, she appeared in Rebels and it was long assumed for a while that she'd perished. But Dave Filoni came out at a previous celebration with Ahsoka Lives on his shirt, which started to build the, the fan bubble a bit more. Anyway, we've now seen her in live form in The Mandalorian and also The Book of Boba Fett. Now she has her own live action full series, Ahsoka, coming to Disney Plus in August. We saw a preview of that. We met some of the cast, uh, Rosario Dawson, um, sorry, I've forgotten her first name, but Mr. Santo, people that paid... Um, 
uh, characters on the um, on the animated series Rebels, uh, like uh, uh, Lars, uh, who was the voice of Admiral Thorne. Well, he was the big shock of the weekend. Is he is recreating his live role as Grand Admiral Thrawn. Much to the delight of the thousands in attendance for the panel, the roof was ripped off when they showed that on the on the new sneaker trailer, which will, like I say, it'll probably have leaked onto the internet by the time this video drops. But yeah, it was good to meet all the all the cast. There were some recreations of animated characters that are in Rebels that are coming to live action. You got Sabine Wren, um, amongst others. There was loads. It was very entertaining to watch although the the seating that was for those that uh, need a little bit of extra help the accessibility area was hindered by the fact that the the chairs weren't actually pointed at the stage they were at the side of the stage pointing to the wall next to the stage which for people who have limited mobility doesn't make it very easy to actually look at the stage so maybe that's something that celebration need to look at also there was a massive 40 foot camera boom arm swinging in front of the stage in between our view so that hindered the view somewhat as well but it was still a good good panel still worth attending still worth queuing up although the queuing to get in was a bit lackluster because there weren't enough staff saying which way to go for what queue a lot of the staff didn't know which queue to put you in I was put into two separate queues which were the wrong queue eventually we managed to find the right queue we got in there got into the panel uh, a lot of people didn't so I feel bad for them although it was streamed to other stages as well so a lot of people did get in but a lot of people didn't but that's the breaks with the convention this size anyway so we're uh, gonna have a wander through uh, you've probably seen how crowded it is another day with about a hundred thousand people here all trying to do whatever they can do during the event but it does make for a lot of overcrowding a quite unsafe environment if you're moving down the main corridor or in between the stalls uh, lots of people banging into each other tripping over each other <coughs> I have no idea if anyone has any idea if there's been accidents or anything like that I would not be shocked but I have not heard of any so that is the blessing anyway so later today we're going to hopefully try and get into the Return of the Jedi panel which is celebrating 40 years this year that should prove interesting uh, just got a Tuscan Raider screaming probably uh, you've seen the price of the Chinese rice bowl anyway we'll move on to other things I'll catch you whatever I can hopefully you'll get to see it and come along for the ride if not I'll see what I can cobble together so we've uh, been through the uh, one of the trade halls uh, once again it's uh, still very very busy Still lots of people banging into you, tripping over you. Through no fault of their own, it's just so busy. It's very hard for people to see which way they're going if they're kicking a walking stick from under them. If they're accidentally encroaching or nearly falling over people in wheelchairs, it's very, very busy. Uh, but, like I said, that's what happens when you get an event of this size. It is the largest Star Wars convention on the planet, maybe not the largest one in celebration history, but definitely the largest one that's happening currently. Anyway, so we've taken a bit of a time out, uh, which you need to do. Time out, take a drink, it's warm inside, regardless of what the weather's like outside, it's always warm inside, so make sure you stay hydrated. There's lots of places to get drinks. Uh, bring a water bottle very key idea bring a water bottle because there are free places to fill up for free on fresh water so do that keep yourself hydrated because it can be a long day it's impossible to see and do everything even in the four days but 
you've got to do what you can do. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of people all with the same idea, trying to do the same thing. Uh, as I said before, if you have anxiety issues, maybe this isn't the event for you. Uh, it's tough for me, I've got anxiety issues, but I am not as bad as some. I can handle it if I know when to recognise the triggers and take a bit of a time out, uh, which is what we're doing now. One good thing, we're at the results store. As you can see with my shirt, this I, I got myself a nice results shirt. I've had it for a while now. But they've got plenty more shirts for, for me to spend my money on and they had a stand today. And at the stand they had uh, the vlog series page of Mr. Morrow. It was nice to meet him, have a little chat about the Disney parks. He's going off to Disneyland Paris, I believe soon, he said. So I'll, if I remember, I'll put a little link to his channel below hopefully someday he'll do the same for me because i'd love the amount of followers that he's got anyway so we're just gonna have a little break at costa have a little little break little sit down a little digest of what's to what's to happen the rest of the day bit of a rehydrate as well <laughs> 